to the our next topic okay in the workshop course okay under develop and showcase your online course this are the module set so click it all right and under the module called your popularity course so we're going to move on to this topic migrating contents and learning activities so it's quite very uh, one of the most important crucial uh, topic lah. all right so everyone here can we start yes, yes? all right let's start okay <coughs> So yes, we are in the most important, I think most of the uh, important part is uh, where I'm going to show you how to add your own content and learning activities in your course. Okay, so previously Mashita already showed you a lot of things, right? She already showed you how to create a course and after that how to add the contents, in the, how to add the outcome in your course. That's the first thing you do after the creating the course. And after the outcome, she show you how to create the cost structure, I mean the cost flow. Okay, what is the model one, model two, and each model, what is the pages, the topic that you plan inside. Right? So you already created the structure, right? So if you look at my demo course here, so we already have a structure. Look at this. Okay, we already have a structure like uh, under the element of graphic design, I already created two pages based on my cost structure that I planned here, this one, okay. So this is based on my cost structure, so I have a first model called element of graphic design, under that I already created the page called line shape and texture, and also the second page called color and part one in my cost. But look at it, it's kind of empty, it's nothing there. When I click the page, it's pretty much empty, okay, yeah. Because nothing, we, we haven't put the content, we haven't created activities, right? So this is the part I'm going to show you how, because that's why it's very important and most critical part. But in order to do that, in order to create content, in order to add content here in our planning course, the, one of the most important keywords that you need to remember here is the word called widgets. Yeah, <laughs> is this word called widgets. It's kind of very important, this word. If you, this word will probably will come across so many times when you are that uh, in our planning platform lah. But they are so one of the most important thing. So what is actually a widget? So widget is actually a basic uh, building blocks of the page. So we have this page here, right? So you probably wonder what is page? This is what we call it page. Okay. So which topic lah? You can call it topic. Okay. Uh, when you click this one. So all these things, we call it page. Uh, tagging in pages, this one is one page, this one is one page, this one one page, some people call it topic. So okay, same thing. Um, so this widget is very important for this page. All right, in order to connect. You can see we have a lot of contents here. I have this text content, I have a picture content. This is all, for add all these things, you need to know this thing called widgets. Without it, it's very hard. So it's a basic building block of the page. Okay, so we have a lot of widgets here in Opal Learning. Okay, one of the but we categorize it very nicely for you, so easy for you to use it like your own. Uh, then we categorize. So one of the main category here is we call it core category, core widget, core category. We call it a content widget. Okay, uh, we have a couple of widgets under this category. Okay, and then uh, then we have a core posting widgets. Okay which you call it, uh, you also can call this uh, activity widget, it's normally in orange color, okay, so on orange color, just know this is a posting widget, and we have uh, like advanced collection widget like this, you know, normally in pink color, okay, pink right, <laughs> and then quiz submission widget, uh, question and submission widget is normally in green, all right, we have a lot of like uh, widgets under this category like multiple choice, short answer, and then there's also a lot, if you click this button, there's a lot, okay. Uh, so, there's quite a lot of widgets, okay. Let me open directly and show you. So, to access this widget, yeah, all right, it's kind of very uh, straightforward function. You just need to go to the particular page that you want to edit, and you need to click edit, and then you will open this page editor section, where if you click this, you can see all the category of widgets here. So, we have core. Okay, under the core, this is the one, right? And we have a co-posting, co-content, 
and we have co-interactive prom prompts and under the quiz we have these all the quiz widgets and including quiz summing and uh, widgets and under the beta okay beta is actually uh, some testing widgets but you can still use in your own course development lah. we have a chat room we have a microsoft team meeting we have pool all right which you can use and then integration widget is pretty much uh, this widget is pretty much if you integrate third party tool in open learning platform like the zoom um, everything okay and then um, but of course right, if you want to integrate zoom this one just an example yeah uh, you need to have a Zoom business account, okay? You need to pay with them, okay? And then if you want to, we also have an embed tools widgets like HTML code, iframe, SCOM. Uh, you educated, you probably know about SCOM, right? So one of the e-learning standard, quite pretty old, but still that, <laughs> okay? And then we have a X API thing, can this is pretty much a new e-learning standard uh, uh, application, okay? And then we have a CMI file also quite very new and uh, this one is quite de deprecated like this is for old widget to still put it but it's, uh, it's very quite old one okay and under interface dash and we, under advanced we also have a couple of widgets a lot actually we have a post link we have a random selector okay share anything widget my, one of my favorite favorite widget okay uh, activity widget okay, later you can check, see why I say it's favorite <laughs> okay and then survey and twitter okay all right twitter is only six x right <laughs> cool so this is all things very important so if you want to add content first you have to understand clearly what each widget do in inform which type of content i need to use which widget that's the most critical part if i have the uh, text widget text content which widget is suitable if i have a video content which widget is suitable if i have a, a file a content like a powerpoint pdf which one is suitable so you need to understand that all right so once you understand it's very easy to use all this widget okay uh, okay now i'm uh, putting that aside so now we have to go through a couple of widgets so i'm going to show you demo how to add content using this widget a live content okay i'm going to create this page with you so so in order to do that so Ma mashita already created this page right non shape and texture this is a like topic okay so i already have the contents here for that particular page okay this is my content which is already have it in microsoft word document and then you can see i uh, already write down the entire contents and then the image or the already prepared okay so we just need to put this content that we already have same in, in the open learning platform in this particular page. Okay, I'm going to use it by using widgets. Okay, let's start with this. Um, first, number one. Okay, first of course you need to click edit and you open the edited tab, right? Now let's go back to uh, my content. So I have this content uh, line text chapter. Just copy this. Okay, all right. And then um, for K, let's I need to add choose a suitable widget here. So that one is just a tax content, right? So let's say I want to add the tax content. Which one you think is suitable widget? Yeah, it's a tax one. So drag it and put it here. You come here, right? And then you need to there are four tab here. Okay, you need to understand all these four tab. Okay. Yes, uh, of course the widget name, particular widget name is to be the first. Then click setup. Okay, you need to click set up in order to edit the particular com uh, widget. Completion setting is actually a tab where you want the particular content in this uh, widget to be tracked under progress or not. Okay, you can choose that. You want no completion tracking, you want to complete it when view, okay, you want complete it when scroll to like 100% or 50%, okay, so you can choose it. So I prefer this, okay. And then go. the share setting is currently not available for this type of widget like content widget, but it's only available for this posting widget only. Later I will show that. Okay. So normally for other widget you show like gray here. It's not available. Uh, okay, let's add the content. By clicking setup, you open like a simple preset. Okay. 
copy and paste it. I already pasted it nicely. <laughs> so you can even type also, no problem. Okay, if you have a time, please uh, you can type it, no problem. Okay, uh, you have a lot of editor there. So I'm just gonna put this since it's my this my topic. I'm gonna put it this in the middle, all right. And then want to make it bigger a little bit by clicking format, heading maybe if header one, all right. And then maybe add some color, okay. Since this is like uh, oh, oh, break, why are you free? Okay, maybe uh, blue color, okay. Nice shape of texture. You can even add color, all right. To make it nicer. Um, so once that, I also want to, if you want to add more uh, contents, okay, let's look at my document. Okay, so I have this content. I'm gonna add this, right? So I'm. You can either you're using the same widget, same text widget, or you can add one more text widget if you if totally up to you lah. If you want to do that, okay. In my case, I like to break it down. So small, small widget easy for me to edit the contents later, lah. Okay. So once you edit, make sure you click save here. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes this thing is depend on the internet connection, how fast <laughs> is this? Okay. Okay. Click save. Mm, give some time to this thing to save. Normally, if your internet connection is quite good, this thing is like fast. It's like that, just like that. In the corner, maybe, maybe something wrong. Okay. Let me try to refresh it. See if anything more. Okay, yeah, it's already safe. Okay. Okay, click edit again. Okay. Let's see. Alright. So I already saved it and then I'm gonna add one more uh, text widget in the down to put the uh, second part of the contents. Okay, which is this one. Okay, nice shape. So easy lah for me to just just copy everything. Okay, since this is like our first topic, copy. Now um, when I paste it here, I use Control V. Okay, easy. Control C for copy and Control V for paste. Okay. So then uh, everything already put it lah nicely. So you can see I have one picture here. I am I'm planning to add some picture here. Because if you look at my cost outline here document, right? So you can see I plan an image, right? That means I should have an image here. I have plan, I have an interaction line, and then I have a, I plan an image. So that means I must have an image here, okay? Which is I plan here, which is definition of line. Okay, let's add the image. I'm going to show you how to add this GIF uh, file. To add the image of GIF file, you have to click this button, okay? This one. Let me highlight this, this one, and then select. Okay, uh, all right. Where is it? Demo material. The content. Okay. So what is the uh, yeah definition of line? This is the picture. Okay. Wait until this thing to load. Okay. So uh, this thing is already loading. So you can add move. Add more style to this image by clicking the style button. If you want the image to be center, float left, float right, also can. If you want to have shadow frame, also can. So in my case, I don't want all this thing. I want to this to be center lah. Okay, make it nicer, you know. And then even you can change the image size also here, right? If you're happy with everything, um, you can even add this. This thing is like optional. Let's click that. Okay, you can see the image of this is added, all right? And I have a one more image here. I'm gonna add that using the same method. Okay, variety of line, so this one. Okay, give it some time to upload. Click done. Okay, image, this is how you add images. Okay, and one more here. So, see, since I plan everything in the uh, document, it's kind of a little bit hard to add everything. Okay, this one maybe I can add some frame to make it nicer. Lah. Okay, alright. And then, click save. Okay, so make sure you click save every time you add the content, otherwise, the thing uh, won't be safe. Okay, you need to always add save to add content. Okay, um, let the thing be safe. Is it always safe? Oh. Okay, arrow. Okay, 
more try to keep on the cloud. Okay, this is sometimes depend on how good the internet connection is. This thing is uh, it's in the cloud. Okay, so of course any cloud application, the internet speed is very crucial. Okay, and again, I think the thing is not safe. Okay, we have to attack one more time. One more time, I'm going to copy and I paste it here, All right? and then definition of 9. Okay, you say because uh, I just already uploaded the image, right? So that's why I give this error which I uploaded again, but it's okay. Do you want to replace this part? Yes. Alright, and then variety of 9, same method. You can see how I uh, fast I'm doing. And then uh, organization shop. Okay. Alright. Make sure it's safe. Always safe. Mm, okay, this time it's safe. I see. Okay. Otherwise I have to do it again. Okay. So I already put in this, okay, which is a free. Same method also. You just need to use the same method for other part of the content that you want to add. Okay? Uh, so same method. So we're gonna add again this content shape, my second part. But this one here, it got videos. So I'm gonna show you how to add videos. Okay, and also it got activities. So that's why I'm gonna I'm gonna show how to do all this thing. Okay. Okay, first let's add this uh, content first. And then I'm gonna show you how to add videos. Again, I'm gonna try and put my uh, text. Refresh again. Again, hold the image. The internet speed. Okay. Just have to keep on a refresh. Uh, if this is a uh, things that like. Okay. Yeah. So I already had uh, two pictures here. Yeah. It's set up. Okay, this is my second topic. Right. Right. So same method. Okay. Uh, I have a, a video widget uh, after this content, right? That's all I plan in here. Even I spend the same thing in my here. So under the shape should be video, right? So under the shape there should be video after all this thing. So I'm gonna add this video. Alright, so just like how I plan in my course design template. Okay, so the video link is here. Just copy this. Luckily, the video is hosted in YouTube. Blah. So I'm going to add this YouTube video embed in the learning platform. So to do that, copy the, the your YouTube uh, video link or thing or Vimeo video link also can. And then go back here. And then, uh, so I'm going to check it is. And then find the video widget. Yeah. All right. Click setup video widget, and then paste the URL here. All right. So for the video, there's a two way. Either you can use the upload the video using the URL. Uh, it doesn't matter. You can use the YouTube or Vimeo. These two popular uh, video streaming platform. Okay. Um, first, you have to, of course, like you have to upload the video there, and then you get the link, and then you have to paste it like this. Or you can directly upload also can, no problem. If you have your mp4 file, a video mp4 file, you can directly upload. We support max to 5 gigabyte per upload. Per upload, yeah? 5 gigabyte per upload. Yes. One file, 5 gigabyte. Yes, per upload. Okay, that means, wow, who wants to upload 5 gigabyte? <laughs> it's like a movie. <laughs> okay, it's quite long, but don't do it. Okay, of course, video has to be short and simple. Okay. Can we upload the HD 720 or 1080? Because here it's stated 800 by 450. Oh, which one? 800 by 450 yes. pixel. Can I upload the HD version? Yeah, it's actually suggested. <laughs> suggested. Okay? If you want, you want to go for 4 HD, go ahead, no problem. But it's a 5 GB max. <laughs> okay? But, but uh, I can have multiple, let's say 5 files, each of them 5 GB. 525 total in gigabit 
it, it's still supportable, right? Yeah, you want to break it down to five five five. No, no, no. Each file five gig, five file twenty five gig. Okay, okay. Per upload five gig. Right. There's no limitation. <laughs> yeah, of course it's cloud okay. limitation. Uh, your server means. Uh. Oh, your server. <laughs> it's not. Uh, it's Asia. <laughs> oh. Uh, it's a Microsoft version anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but this thing, the video you can upload, but you, sometimes you have to consider your students right now. Sometimes your students view the video using their own data. Okay, please, you don't want to, decide, <laughs> you don't want to finish the data. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, sometimes we return over. So sometimes video is too big also. Uh, if your internet is so slow, it takes time to load, 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 and students will get frustrated. So when it comes to the video, make sure you upload the video reasonable size, short and simple line. Okay. So I'm gonna upload the video here and then click save. Yes, the video will be. Okay, it some takes some time to fetch the video information and then should be there. Okay. Okay, is this is correct video, let me share. Yeah. I can skip this texture part now because it's pretty much the uh, same thing how I added the other, other content. So let's add the activity. Okay. So to add the activity, which is I to plan it in my document, okay. Um, this one, alright. Uh, it's very simple. First, you need to add the activity instructions, okay. Just copy the activity instructions, okay. And then, um, Okay, using the text widget, yeah? you need to add the instruction using the text widget. Okay, and then this one maybe I can make it bigger. I have to put this like a question, right? Okay. So I have this activity. So this activity, what you can do is, since it's activity, I can add some content to make it uh, distinguishable from other part of the content. To do that, you click format. First, of course, like you highlight like this. Then you click format. You click special and then you add some content like this. Nice, right? And what you can do is uh, you can make this thing bigger, okay? Maybe give it a header for, for activity, or you can add, then you can add some icons, okay? To make it that distinguishable, okay? Activity icon. Mm -hmm. and then uh, maybe make it like a uh, 100, small size. And it's load left, not sign up. So this is one way that um, can uh, create the activity. I mean, if you want to make it in the middle also can totally up to you. But you can see I already done the activity. I want the student to do this activity, right? So this is the instructions. Okay. So once you already had the instruction, what's next? Where's student gonna submit? Ah, that's the tricky part, right? Yeah, activity. You want student to submit, right? Okay. Ah, uh, this is where you need to use the posting widget. This orange color one, all right. The posting widget is I want student to submit the tags. I can use this post tags. Okay, it will come out like this. Student to submit everything here. And then when every time you use this post tags, you can see the gallery also come automatically. Please don't delete the gallery, <laughs> okay? Because these two things like husband and wife five totally are like separate them now. Okay, so want to you know, all right? And then. All this, uh, because every time when student posts, everything will be populated in gallery. If you delete this, then you cannot see student submission. <laughs> okay. And um, sometimes gallery didn't come out. After you use this posting widget, you can still find the gallery in advance and you'll be here. Okay. You can drag it manually. No problem. Okay. All right. So I already had the, I already had the activity and I already had the, to post things and everything. So what else I miss here in my context? Okay, uh, so I already have an activity and then 
Yeah. Then I have a conclusion. Yeah, I have a conclusion statement. Okay. So to do that, I add one more uh, widget down. Click setup. And then conclusion. Click save. Okay. Okay. Sometimes when the error comes, is it if uh, internet is not loaded properly, if this kind of error will come out. You just need to um, reload. Problem solved. Okay. All right. Yeah. So we have it. So what you can do is you can add this white space widget in the middle to create something like a short space between widgets. Okay. This white space. Okay. You make things easy. Okay. Let's say you want to add some space between this and this. Also can. Right. You want to make these things um, to uh, make it like half. You also can. Okay. Like this. And then uh, you can drag it this here. And then you want to add one more uh, block block also here can like a statement okay say uh, wash the video uh, okay uh, right. okay uh, okay okay yeah so you can even do this. If you want to delete, just click delete button. This duplicate it will duplicate the same widget. Okay. If you click this thing, it will duplicate the widget. Okay. Uh, see, it's duplicating. <laughs> so easy lah. You have to edit. Okay. All right. This is how you edit pages. Okay. Later, if you want to add um. It takes some time because it depends on the internet option, right? So later also, if you want to add this one also can. Okay, we have a video, we have an accessible video, we have five widget. Okay, let's say you have a PDF, PowerPoint content, you can use this. If you have audio, you have an MP3 file video, like podcast or something, you can use this. Resources link is actually a link widget. Okay, if you look at this our uh, workshop course, if you scroll down until the end. Uh, we have this thing right like this. This is a link. Uh, this is a this widget. This resources widget. Okay, where student can click the link and access lah. And posting widget I already showed. We have three here. Okay, you can use like post tag, post image, post file. You come across all these things yesterday from our workshop course, right? When you post image, you use, I use this. When you post some text, I use this. When you post a file, like uh, yesterday I asked you to upload a um, course outline, right? Uh, we use this lah. Okay, and then uh, we also have a checklist, random select, and all these uh, different different type of widget. Okay, so please, uh, you have to use all these widget to make your page more engaging and also full. All right. Okay. Any question about the widget before I uh, let you guys to explore and do it at your own? Any questions? Any question? No. Okay.